and I'm just getting started. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 animated superhero movies of all time. I want to do what you asked. I really do. For this list, we'll be looking at the best cartoon films about crime-fighting characters. While we won't look at anime, we will include TV and straight-to-home releases. Since we'll be talking about plots, consider this your spoiler warning. What's your favorite animated superhero movie? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Justice League Crisis on Two Earths Things get a little backwards in this DC DVD release. In an alternate universe, there's no Justice League. Instead, the world is lorded over by a group of supervillains known as the Crime Syndicate. That world's noble Lex Luthor eventually travels to a world of traditional Justice League heroes to get help and stop the evil team. Oh, wait, wait, don't tell me. On your world, you're the leader of the Justice League. As a matter of fact, I was. There's a lot of fun to be had in watching these famous characters interacting and, of course, fighting with their evil counterparts. While it doesn't dwell long on how they got corrupted, it shows that absolute power can corrupt absolutely. The film also offers plenty of slick action scenes and nice character moments. We both looked into the abyss. But when it looked back at us, you blinked. It all builds up to a nail-biting ending that you'll never forget. Number 19, Megamind. This DreamWorks comedy seeks to answer an important question. What would a villain do without their hero? I often ask myself, who would I be without you? After seemingly defeating his arch nemesis, Megamind becomes the world dominating baddie he always wanted to be. But when his victory starts to feel hollow, he tries to create a new hero with disastrous results. The jokes always land in particular thanks to cast members like Will Ferrell and Tina Fey. The bright visuals pop, and the action offers some unique moments of spectacle. This town isn't big enough for two supervillains. Oh, you're a villain, all right. Just not a super one. While it may not be your typical superhero fare, its offbeat nature makes it a hidden genre gem. Number 18, Teen Titans, Trouble in Tokyo. Cartoon Network's original Teen Titans series is beloved to this day. Despite ending too soon, it at least got to end its run with a pretty great made-for-TV movie. Trouble in Tokyo's intriguing plot gets going when a supervillain that speaks Japanese attacks the team at home. Our house! Look what he did to our house! Dude, I need a vacation. This event leads the Titans to travel abroad and face a villain that can turn his artwork into real-life creations. While the movie has a few dark elements, it still has just as much charm as you'd expect. This is particularly the case in moments where Robin and Starfire navigate their feelings for one another. However, it's when the team is together that the movie shines the brightest. What must we do? Erase him. Number 17, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. If you like when Suicide Squad stories feature gory mayhem, it doesn't get much better than this. Find him and I'll slice a year off all your sentences. Ah, oh, great. Only 87 more suicide missions to go. In Hell to Pay, a terminally sick Amanda Waller sends a team out into the world to find an artifact that will save her soul from being sent to hell. But she's far from the only one after the card. Since villains like Professor Zoom and Vandal Savage are also vying for the prize, the main team has to constantly fight their way out of bloody confrontations. So far, no one's died. Let's see how long we can make that last. The movie's dark sense of humor strangely pairs well with the absurd levels of violence as characters drop left and right. It all makes for a great Suicide Squad story where you question who's truly good and evil. I must have sired a hundred thousand. You'd think one would show me some respect. Number 16, Batman Year One. This DC animated film may be one of the most faithful comic adaptations the company's ever released. 12 years, and the ache is still fresh, like a raw, angry nerve. Year One follows Bruce's return to Gotham after over a decade of training. Instead of the confident hero we're used to, this early career vigilante struggles to deal with common criminals. 
As we learn more about Batman's early days, we also follow Gordon's beginning as a GCPD officer dealing with rampant corruption. The two men eventually team up to take on the corrupt city. Their dynamic is handled incredibly well. Additionally, Ben McKenzie's Batman and Brian Cranston's Gordon are definite high points. Like I can't stop thinking about this Batman. He's a criminal. I'm a cop. It's as simple as that. But I'm a cop in a city that uses its cops like hired killers. At just over an hour, it's a bit short, but that just left us wanting more. Number 15, Incredibles 2. It seems like we were all begging Pixar for an Incredibles sequel for years. And after nearly a decade and a half, we finally got one. Are we going to talk about it? Why? The elephant in the room. Set directly after the first, it dealt with the family coming to terms with Jack-Jack's new powers, as well as supers being allowed to work again. The truly stunning animation led to plenty of jaw-dropping set pieces that blew us away. However, just like the first, Incredibles 2 was at its best when dealing with the family's relationships. I didn't think about Dicker erasing his memory or about you having to pay the price for a choice you never made. It's not fair. I know. It also gave Elastigirl plenty of time to shine. Although the villain didn't live up to expectations, the Pars family's second outing is still worthy of any super fan's time. Number 14, Teen Titans Go! To the movies. The goofy Teen Titans Go! series has been dividing fans since its inception, but even the show's biggest detractors can't deny how remarkably good this incarnation's first feature film is. In a quest to be taken more seriously as a hero, Robin tries to get his team to star in their own story. It would be so awesome. It would be so cool. This setup allows the entire runtime to be filled with meta jokes about superhero cinema. And we can't deny that there are a few surprisingly catchy musical numbers. Not only does the original voice cast nail their goofy characters, but Will Arnett slays as Slade Wilson. Ha <laughs> Robin! Don't you know anything about arch villains? We always have a backup plan, girlfriend. This excellent animated comedy just might get naysayers to take Teen Titans Go more seriously. Number 13, Justice League, Doom. Batman is smart enough to have contingency plans for each member of the Justice League should they ever turn evil. The members of the Justice League are among the most powerful and potentially dangerous people on the planet. You think one of us would go over to the other side? Or succumb to mind control? Yes. Unfortunately, that decision comes back to haunt him in this adaptation of the Tower of Babel storyline. Led by Vandal Savage, a newly formed Legion of Doom uses Batman's own plans to target him and his closest allies. It's riveting to see each hero get pushed to their breaking points with schemes that target their weaknesses. I got a bomb bolted to my wrist. If I stop, it'll explode. Yeah, I'm starting to get tired. One way or another, I'll have to try something soon. While Bruce gets a little more screen time than the others, all the major players get moments to shine. And together, the team is able to avoid certain doom. Number 12, The Death of Superman. Although Superman's death at the hands of the Deadly Doomsday had been told in live action and animation beforehand, no adaptation did as much justice to the story as this one. After the infamous villain arrives on Earth, we're treated to great action scenes. The Justice League's battle against the monster and Superman's final stand against it are both great. But there's more here than just fantastic action. Throughout the story, we get to learn about Clark's human life and his struggle over whether or not to reveal himself to Lois. The movie handles his internal conflict extremely well. Thanks to the emotional stakes, the tragic and beautifully animated conclusion left us stunned. What a lucky man. I was. Number 11, Justice League Dark. Apocalypse War. Apocalypse War got everyone talking when it was released due to the utterly brutal carnage on display. Darkseid knew every part of our plan. Those things that attacked us were half parademon, half doomsday. During the movie, heroes of all ages are killed after a failed attack on Darkseid. The majority of the survivors are either captured, brainwashed, or doomed to live a cursed life. 
and the movie only gets bleaker from there. Darkseid's attack on Earth leaves the planet hanging by a thread. Friends and foes are forced to team up to fight a seemingly impossible uphill battle because the threat of defeat had never felt so real. As they try to overcome their plight, every character's journey was compelling and each death was upsetting. This story is so well done that even when they achieve victory, it feels bittersweet. The damage was done. How bad? We lost 31% of the Earth's molten core. Number 10. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker The Batman Beyond series followed a grizzled Bruce Wayne mentoring a new Batman named Terry as the younger hero dealt with new threats. How did it go with the Jokers? I broke up the robbery, but it was weird. But this movie saw a ghost from Bruce's past return. Despite his apparent death long ago, the Joker begins wreaking havoc on Gotham once again. And since Terry didn't know much about the clown, he goes on a journey to learn why this villain's no laughing matter. Return of the Joker is delectably dark, bordering on disturbing. A scene of a young Robin's brutal torment and brainwashing at the hands of Joker and Harley Quinn was particularly upsetting. I'll begin with how I peeled back the layers of the boy's mind. This futuristic Batman movie ultimately ends up being a great showcase for Mark Hamill's clown prince of crime too. Number 9. Big Hero 6 Inspired by the comic of the same name, the movie follows a young boy named Hero who has huge ideas and a talent for technology. After losing his older brother, he risks his promising future to go after the villain responsible. And Hero's not alone. Along for the ride are some high-tech equipped allies and a lovable healthcare bot named Baymax. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? Physical or emotional? Each one of them brings memorable personalities to the table. From the streets of San Francisco to the inventive specialties of each teammate, the film radiates energy. Additionally, it's got all the elements of Disney's expertise in pulling at our heartstrings. It's one of the most heartwarming superhero stories out there. I'm satisfied with my care. Number 8. The Lego Batman Movie The Lego Batman Movie is one of those standout DC films that keeps most of the movie light while having tons of heart. Let me tell you something, Jay Bird. Batman doesn't do ships. What? As in relationships. After making a fantastic debut as Batman in the 2014 original, Will Arnett starred in his own film. This meant we got more clever visual stop motion gags throughout. At the same time, we got a pleasantly silly take on Batman's entire mythos and his famous gallery of rogues. But it's more than just humorous. There are genuinely emotional moments where Batman has to come to terms with his loneliness and grief. But before dwelling too long on darkness, the animators incorporate brilliant Lego movement. With just enough warmth and loads of adventure, the movie's built to please just about everyone. So what do you say, Kamish? Will you work with me? I need your help. I thought you'd never ask. Number 7. Justice League – The Flashpoint Paradox after traveling back in time to stop the death of his mother, Barry Allen awakes in a world where that change brought disastrous consequences. Aquaman and Wonder Woman are locked in a brutal world war. On one fateful night, Bruce Wayne died instead of his parents, prompting Thomas Wayne to become Batman instead. Bruce! 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 Bruce is dead. I watched him die. This nightmare reality that Barry accidentally concocted is undeniably an engrossing one. There's a real sense of dread and urgency as it all descends further into chaos. Additionally, Barry's arch nemesis Ubar Thawne adds more tension to the story. With all around strong performances from the voice cast and stellar fights, this film races to the forefront of must see flash tales. The only way to save the world to keep this world from ever happening. Number 6. Batman The Dark Knight Returns Adapting Frank Miller's rich dystopian take on Gotham City was going to be no easy feat. Sir? Just remembering a promise, Alfred. Which was? Never again. Thankfully, DC took the time to do it justice across two parts. With crime at an all-time high courtesy of a gang called the Mutants, a once-retired and aged Batman returns to the streets. 
Unfortunately, he isn't as spry as he used to be. The reappearance of Batman also brings the Joker out of retirement. With the hero far past his prime, each physical encounter feels more tense and dangerous. There's also brilliant commentary about everything from vigilantes to the Cold War. Peter Weller is phenomenal as the seasoned hero, while Michael Emerson's performance as the revitalized Joker is absolutely chilling. Don't miss this return of a legend. You never should have come back, Bruce. You don't know how much the world has changed. Number 5. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse With such a strong first outing, Marvel fans couldn't wait to get another taste of the Spider-Verse. His name is Miles Morales. He was bitten by a radioactive spider. And he's not the only one. And the 2023 sequel did not disappoint. Set a year and a half later, it picks back up on Miles struggling to balance home and superhero life. Unfortunately, he accidentally creates a destructive new villain, Spot. Doing so puts him at odds with heroes like Spider-Man 2099. Audiences are also treated to incredible plots about major heroes like Gwen Stacy. Plus, in every universe, in every moment, we get to witness stunning and groundbreaking animation. They are the canon. Chapters that are a part of every spider story, every time. The story admittedly feels like part one of an incomplete story. However, it still has plenty of strengths to stand on its own. Number 4. Batman Under the Red Hood Comic readers may have voted to kill off Jason Todd's Robin, but there's no denying how strong a character he is as Red Hood. Tell me what happened to you. Let me help. It's too late. This 2010 film adapted his return and managed to surpass the source material with a more focused plot, incredible performances, and thrilling action scenes. It follows Batman contending with a mysterious new villain who seems to know him too well. As the plot unfolds, Red Hood leads the detective down a trail towards the truth of his revival. Under the Red Hood expertly explores Bruce's guilt over Jason's death at the hands of the Joker and the former Robin's bitter anger is palpable in Jensen Ackles' delivery. You know, I thought, I thought I'd be the last person you'd ever let him hurt. Number three, The Incredibles. It should come as no shock that one of Pixar's finest is also one of the best animated superhero movies of all time. You're the best of the best, Yes, e. I know, darling. 15 years after supers were outlawed, the retired Mr. Incredible yearns for the old days, but he bites off more than he can chew with his new hero job. It's a joy to see how the unique powers of each family member reflect their personalities. And just like the best Pixar films, this superhero story takes you through emotional highs and lows. Ah! Eat those guys that tried to kill us! That was the best vacation ever! I love our family. The Incredibles arrived on the scene with a glorious style and a familial bond that could make anyone cheer. It's impressive that this spectacular movie became an Oscar-winning classic even without any capes. No capes! Number 2. Batman Mask of the Phantasm Over the years, some critics have declared the Mask of the Phantasm to be the greatest Batman movie ever. Buzz Bronsky, your angel of death awaits. And honestly? we find that hard to argue against. Made during the run of the acclaimed animated series, the film expands on what was already wonderful. The plot, focusing on a new villain hunting mob bosses in Gotham, is both suspenseful and dreary. Additionally, the story takes a deep dive into what it meant for Bruce to be Batman and give up on everything else. I know I made a promise, but I didn't see this coming. I didn't count on being happy. It also showcased the prowess of the filmmakers, as well as their immense love of the character and the mythos of the world they were building. When combined with excellent voice work and a gripping climax, this Batman movie stands tall. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse In every single aspect, from every single angle, Into the Spider-Verse is a wonder to behold. 
Miles Morales' journey as an accidental Spider-Man thrust into an impossible situation is as captivating as it is filled with joy. Feel the rhythm? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good, Miles! I gotta say, you're amazing, man. We're a little teeth. Me as the teacher who could still do it. You as the student who can do it just not as good. Every character instantly grabs you with their unique charm and quirks. The blend of hand-drawn and CGI animation makes the visuals pop, as if they transcend the screen. Never before had the title comic book movie been taken so literally and displayed with such love and care. Spider-Verse was a breath of fresh air and originality that we're supremely grateful wasn't a one-off. Not only did Miles return, but the Oscar-winning film and character inspired other studios to take their own creative leaps of faith. I'm Spider-Man. I'm not the only one. Not by a long shot. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.